Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our FTL Captain's Edition. We finally have a missile launcher again, so people should be happy. We've arrived in the middle of a major battle yet again. So this time, um, we can use the radioactive Lido thing to help pierce the shields, and it fires about as fast as that obsolete laser did. This should help us to pierce and get through shields a bit. So we can just fire this thing kind of at will. Bam! Crew damage is increased. Put a, a hole in the hull that they have to fix first now. And now the Naginata is going to be brutally powerful. And man, that thing fires fast. Takes a lot of missiles, but... Um, to I think I mean, I think it takes a lot of missiles to shoot that fast, but... Ooh, they're almost dead. And the optimized hull beam does extra damage against systemless rooms. Let's see, is there a spot where we can target three systemless rooms? Looks like no. But we can target just three regular rooms. Let's go like that. And that'll kill them. And that would have been the death of us. The lead ship fires a final barrage before its FTL core detonates. The vessel's torn into two pieces, one smashing into the rear section of a nearby Federation cruiser. The rest of the rebels jump away one by one, and the combat dies down. The battle group commander contacts you again. Well done. We've got them on the run for a change. We will intercept them. Join up with us there again. They transmit the coordinates for the next engagement. After the fleet jumps out, of, you stay behind to collect scrap. Cool, so we have a quest marker. Nice. So I really like that... Um, yeah, and, yeah, we... You should use missiles more often. I gotta stop. <laughs> Just stop being averse to missile launchers. And I think we need a little bit more power. I'm tired of having power issues. Oh, quest beacon's actually backwards. Let's go there and check out the the quest. You were supposed to meet up with your battle group here in order to finish the Rebel Squadron. Something must have gone horribly wrong because the system is littered with the wrecks of Federation ships and ambush reinforcements. It seems there is no stopping the Rebel Fleet. You will pick the bones of the many ships. You find a usable weapon as well. It's a widespread heavy laser. As you pick through the debris, a Rebel cruiser jumps in. They hail, this is the RS Armed and Dangerous. We knew we would catch some stragglers here, but you, you are special. Prepare to meet your maker. Well, you don't seem particularly scary to me. Two shields. Pretty weak. That thing looks weird. Oh, we missed. Damn. Oh, it's a... Mindling, a mine shooting drone. They move very slowly. Unfortunately, his shields didn't go down at all. Ouch. There we go, finally. Okay. Um. You did. That did a lot of damage to us. Um, you did it. The cruiser breaks apart. Several major explosions leave a slowly drifting debris field behind. You collect what usable material floats nearby. But a large fleet detachment jumps in and interrupts your salvaging. You have to leave immediately. Ouch. Those, that mine laying drone. We should probably get one of those anti-drone drones. And then just keep it there. Because that did a lot of damage. It really did. Think about, I mean, that was what? 15 damage and it cost 3? That's 45 scrap worth of damage that we just took. Alright, let's go check out our new weapon. It's the Widespread Heavy Laser. System damage minus 1. So Widespread is a negative adjective. It's a bad modifier. System damage minus one. So if you use it on a regular system instead of doing two, it'll only do one. Not good. Let's go sell it at the store. At least it's worth something. Oof. Current hull is at 14. 16 times 3. Yeah, it's just, it's just expensive.
I say that we should buy one of those drone drone things, assuming we actually find a drone. <laughs> a good store. The commander of this impressive pleasure station says he can provide services as long as you've got the scrap. Apparently we can hire young. I think not. Detailed mappings of the sector for 12 scrap. I mean, that might help us find a store. So, yeah. Nope, didn't help us find a store. But we can avoid ion storms and stuff like that. Pretty useful, I think. Woo, that's a lot of people. Um, you go to there, Mantis go into the fighting room, you leave, we vent the front three sections of the ship. Sorry, the front two sections. Oh, and they've got Alanius in there. That is a lot of hostile crew. Holy smokes. We're on to the med bay. Alright, now the rest of the doors are going to have to fight their way through. And let's see if we can sneak Sun back into the, the door control room. Make sure the oxygen's on so that room gets some, some oxygen back, but now he can make the doors even stronger. Now we only have to deal with the Lanius. That's a lot of crew. Nice job, team. Proud of you. Let's get out of here. Oh, do we have a room? You know what we should upgrade as well? Med bay. Never did upgrade the med bay. We'll consider that one next. Since we don't see any stores. See, parlaying with them is just going to make us not fight it. So let's actually power up the weapons. I'm not too scared of this ship. Level 2 shields, I mean, we just tear those apart. Get one successful missile in. Get the shields down by one. And then the Naginata just tears them apart. Ouch. Just took some damage. Some serious damage. This thing's going to tear you apart. The hull laser, man. If we had another hull laser... Whew. All right, let's spend more time, yeah. More stuff. Extra loot. Aid the ship. Big missile launcher. Nice. I love that it stuns and puts holes in the ship. This is me going back on my not using missile launchers, because they're, they're pretty awesome. Wow. Wow! So easy! I mean, you have to admit, that was, that was pretty quick. All right, let's uh, lead them to their destination. Sure, we'll help you guys out. All right, we'll start heading up that way. Oh, we actually might not be able to do it. I think when you go to the exit, you're not able to to do any kind of... Like, you can't just pass it. I think you have to take it. Here comes a boarding party. Oh, you teleported in the wrong room, people.
Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Dorian. Goodbye, Mary. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy it so much. I just think it's funny when they die. I like, I just think this is like the best way to handle boarding parties. Just drain all the oxygen. Just let them die. So like I said, I don't know that we can actually go to the exit without jumping to the next sector because it's like an event. Uh, let's try to go around it. Let's attempt to follow them. We've caught them. Yes. Now this one has three shields. This is the first one we fought in the sector with three shields. A little bit more difficult. Fortunately, we can just start pounding away at that room. Might take quite a few missiles to get through it. Alright, we're going to have to just shoot, even though it's only at level 2. Get that shot in. I mean, we did some damage. Bam! Stun them! They're not moving around anymore, they're stunned. Alright, I think we're good on missiles. No more missiles. Oh, shield's down. You're dead. Optimized hull beam. That thing is amazing. For the price, it does so much damage. Lots of scrap all of a sudden. No teleport to... Oh, there's a teleporter. Here comes a crewman. Um, yeah, I think we can drain the oxygen from this guy. No room for you. Actually, let's just fight. He wants to fight in the med bay. That's not very smart of him. Might not be able to get by with just one missile launcher this time. Oh! Ouch. Okay, so upgrade the med bay? Or do we like try to save up for 630? Now let's get the med bay. Let's get the med bay, let's get the sensors, we'll keep doing basics. It's just it's working out, you know. It's, it's going well. And now we'll head to that quest beacon. We reject your offer. We want to fight. Now we can actually see the weapon charge time. It's kinda nice. No. Don't hack my weapons. I need my weapons. You think a defense drone would help against flak? I guess we're about to find out. Looks like no. But all he has is an ion, stun ion or something, and then a flak, which I don't think he's going to be able to do much. And we'll just fire. Woo! Uh, we do not accept surrender. Wow. Basically got the exact same thing we would have gotten anyway. I mean, every now and then I'm just amazed at how much damage it does. Upgraded the reactor by one. Alright. Ooh, uh-oh. Let's see how dangerous the um, fleet in something, fleet in range... Your computer registers a threat level 12, enemy concentration nearby. A rebel cruiser flanked by two drone carriers lingers in the distance. You receive a hail. This is a rebel primary unit murder time. You know that we easily outgun you, don't you? This will be nasty, but you asked for it. Fleeing seems to be the suitable option here. Still, taking out an enemy cruiser would surely throw the rebel fleet in disarray. Holy crap, it's cloaked, and he's mind-controlling me. Um, here, hey, son, go tango with him. Door control's hacked, so we are not able to get over there. Fun times. Um, yep, just start plunking missiles into that shield room. Fortunately, we prevented him from actually taking down the engines. However, because no one's manning the engine room, our evasion's pretty low, and we're going to take some damage here, I think. Four damage to the drone control. Ouch. Mine control's over.
missed on the missile. Oh shoot. That four-way scatter missile thing. Hit! Oh damn, he cloaked. The drone could um, defend against that missile, but he took on the, the drone control, naturally. Alright, let's get a drone out. Come on, get those shields down to at least two, please. Ugh, just can't even do it. Gotta get out of here. And that's too much fire. Just drain the oxygen. Alright, shields are down to two. Maybe, maybe, we can start doing some damage here. I still think we need to run. Defense drone, please shoot that down. Ah! Ah! Oh crap, there go the engines. Now we can't even run if we wanted to. Oh, we lost a crewman. We just lost the NG. He just got obliterated. We are dead, I think. The problem with the optimized hull beam is it does no damage if they have any shields. Kind of low on oxygen, but... Um... FTL is charging again. Let's take those weapons down. Alright, we actually took them down. Fleet delayed by two jumps. Not that it matters, because we are about to leave this sector. And apparently because the they caught up, now we're forced into the next sector. Oof. That's really sad that we lost our, our crewman. Alright, come on now, the oxygen's on. Well, we're, we're going to have to mourn his loss. And let's jump to the next sector, see if we can find a store. If we don't find a store, it's game over. Two hull. And I never have found, like, a, a drone that can give us hull repair or something. That'd be really nice to be able to convert it. Let's talk to the human. Please tell me if we'll make this alive. I don't think so. Pretty sure we're all dead. Rock territory is full of unexpected dangers. You jump right into a fleet scale military exercise. Uh, poof, eh. Plated rock, ram ship, missile launcher, beam, laser. I think we can take it. But why would, why risk it? Let's try to fight. We'll do, or, sorry, try to surrender. We'll make a good offer. It's not good enough, naturally. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to use the defense drone. Full power of the shields, med bay down. Upgrading the engines might have been a good idea. Son, your new home is in the uh, engine room. Don't resist the damage. Don't make me miss. All right, we gotta take a shot. There we go. What? He resisted four times. They're attempting a ramming maneuver. Wow, that would have been deadly. Kind of, we're spending missiles at a rapid rate. I'm not happy about that. 
That thing was huge. The rock ship sustained heavy damage, and it's hard to believe that anything on board it, it can still be alive and intact. The rock's captain seems unwilling to give up. He ignites the back thrusters. The ship, ship heads directly for you at full speed. Too damn sure we're dead. What? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boo. That's not cool. So, <laughs> we beat him, but then the ship... And we tried to surrender to him. Damn. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, that's my best record with this ship. 8,000 points. That's sad. All right, well, I guess uh, I guess uh, we'll see you in the next video. We'll see if we do another campaign or not. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.